This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You need to hear this dream. Well, once when I was 21, many years ago, I drank very, very heavily. And I went to sleep very, very drunk. And uh, there was no drugs involved, just, just a lot of alcohol. Mm -hmm. And I woke up in... I believe the Lake of Fire. I, I didn't know what it was at the time, but uh, where I woke up was this incredibly sized lake, which went on and on and on, but you couldn't really see. It was so dark in there. And wow. the water or lake was sort of like a pumice of a fire. Uh, so when you see pumice on fire or a lava, it sort of looked like that. But right. there were people... There were people with their taut, taut skin and 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 skeletal type of bodies all on top of each other trying to get out, trying to claw their way out of there. Ah. Uh, I, I was off to the side. I was at a viewing type of situation. I was not suffering the pain they were feeling from the actual fire, uh, lake, whatever. But what I did experience was that I was allowed to go inside the mind of these people to right. know what they were feeling. Mm -hmm. And they were, they were, uh, it was, it was so bad. You cannot believe how bad everything was. It, it was like gloom, loneliness. Uh, no way out. How do I get out of here? This is going to last forever. Uh, why am I here? This is horrible. You take your worst day on earth, take your absolute worst day on earth, and multiply it by 50 to 100 times, and that is how they were all thinking. It was, it, it was the worst experience I've ever had and when I woke up I was still and sober I'll tell you that ah. and uh, all I can say is hell exists and you don't want to wind up there because it's real and it's 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 there for for the people that are not following God right and Jesus and you know all I can say is at the time I didn't know who God was, I didn't realize it was Jesus. And I I spent many years afterwards, after this experience, I spent many, many years trying to figure out who the true God was because I would after that experience I knew I knew something was up. I right. you know, I knew that I had not uh it was not a normal dream. It was not anything I've ever felt before. It was more real than what it is here on earth. Wow. So uh, anyhow, so it took many, many years, and maybe about oh, seven, eight years ago, God turned a button on me or something, and uh, I now know that we're in end days, and I know it's not going to be much longer. Right. So if, if, if you are listening to this, if you want to know someone who's had an experience of the, the lake, lake of fire, it, it's as real as you can believe it. And, and I know when he comes, a lot of darkness is coming. And that darkness is uh, one of the, um, one person on YouTube said that uh, God gave him what it's going to feel like uh, when he comes. Right. And uh, he used the exact same words I just used to explain what these people were feeling. And he used those same words. So uh, I know it's coming very soon. So please give your life to Jesus. Please, please, you know, say that, that he came to earth as a man, that, that he died for our sins. And that he came back three days later and give your life to him and go and get baptized before it's too late, guys. Right. Hell does exist. That's right. Hell does exist as much as we don't want to hear about it. And I believe there are going to be different degrees of hell. 
I believe from the dream I had years ago, which I already did a video on it, everything looked the same. It was all these different levels. And no matter what level these people went up and down, there were no races, there were no light, dark, no uh, no clothes, no hair. The hair had all been singed off of everybody. You could barely tell the difference between male and female. But the thing was that they were all ashen color and everything was gray, black and white, dull and dreary, smoky. And and the, the, the floor was just a bare floor, as, as dead as cement. It was, and they would go through a hole to change levels to get a difference in scenery. No matter how high they went or how low they went, everything, wherever they landed, looked exactly the same as the spot they just left. It was just a, an empty, a dead, a, a dreary, hopeless atmosphere. And it was like, no matter what they did, they couldn't find comfort. Now, I believe that hell is going to have different levels of punishment. And I believe there are some people out there who have been so severe and so cruel that when they go to hell, they will experience flames. They will experience being abused the way they abused and being tortured the way they tortured. Only like, like uh, my friend said, 50 to 100 times worse or maybe a thousand times worse. The pain that they inflicted is going to be multiplied to them throughout eternity. So for those of you who are playing around with other people's lives and hurting people, stop, repent, because I'm telling you it's going to be worse for you for the pain you've inflicted on other people's lives. Be very careful. Hell is not a thing to play with. Neither is your eternity. God bless you all. Thank you for listening.